Welcome back. You alright, mate? Just ruining my shot, but alright. Anyway, welcome back. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him. I'll get this started sometime. Welcome back. We're heading to Tender because we've got a new job. I just find it strange how it just keeps watching the people go past him. Like, look at it. Look at it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. We're struggling then. Which one to watch? Which one to watch? Anyway, we're heading to Tender because we've got a new job. That's what I wanted to say. Really get that out, you know. It's called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani sensei is in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that talk? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on. You called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh? And I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. I yeah, suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyori clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here, so the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. His third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on, even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Ooh, okay, I, 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 like, I like being involved in the conversations. So conversation, changing, or changing, chaining, correct choices. Chaining, though. Clever thinking is rewarded. Oh, it's more involved, I like this. As conversations progress, you may come across a point where you'll have to select the best response. It's feeling like L.A. Noir at this point. It's, it's like that, that mix. Obviously, it's still got the film noir thing going on, but it's got like L.A. Noir, which I wonder where the noir part comes from. But anyway, L.A. Noir and Yakuza sort of in a middle ground is how it's feeling. Just, yeah, I'm really liking it is the best way of putting it already. I'm only just over an hour in, but I'm really liking it already. Uh, but anyway, as conversations progress, you may come across a point where you'll have to select the best response. During the critical thought process, you'll be able to gain an SP bonus if you consecutively select the best choices to gather information as quickly and efficiently as possible. If you choose unwisely, you'll lose your chance to gain that SP bonus. So it's not like you're completely locked out or get things wrong. You'll still get the information, it's just whether or not you get that bonus. But I like that. When you have the chance to gain a bonus, the number of good choices will show at the top right of the screen. 
The number of stars displayed represents the number of good choices within that selection. Alright, so a murder where both the perpetrator and the victim are Yakuza. No time to mess around, I need to get to the core of this case. Hmm. I'm going to see what, what has Hamura said about it. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah, he told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? Hmm, I, uh, I don't feel like that one's going to be the one we want. This one feels like the one we want. Wait, so I could just leave that there, like do that and then leave it? Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. Mm -hmm -hmm. I mean, we may as well get that extra one then. You think Hamra really killed him? Just curious. I don't know. And I don't really care. If he says he's innocent, I gotta prove he's innocent. That's my job. Well, I think I'm good then. I think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. We got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. You're paying. Right? Okay, so that was cool. New info has been added to your case file. Camarocho serial killing persons of interest updated. Camarocho serial killing case synopsis updated. Okay, let's have a look at managing the case file then. Review the facts. Case file is an app installed on Yagami's phone that automatically sorts and organizes information. Check this app whenever you're not sure what to do next. Case file is particularly handy when you want to progress the story. You can also check what you need to do for side cases as well. Main case, you can check the people, evidence and details concerning the main story. Whenever a main case category is updated, exclamation will be displayed next to it. Side case, you can check the personnel evidence and it's odd how you got people and personnel. It's like, why the change? What? What's? Why? Why? But anyway, and details concerning your various side cases. Whenever a side case category is updated, exclamation will be displayed next to it. Okay, head to Camera Show PD. Leaving already, talk, and only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Oh, good to know, good to know, mate, good to know. Why do I recognize his voice, though? I feel like it, it, it's a voice I do definitely recognize. But where from is more the question. Hmm. Like where do I recognize that cadence of that voice from? Right, so let's head over to the taxis the cabs. It's interesting with this, this sort of Chinatown looking area. I'm assuming it is a Chinatown. Can't remember that being in um, Like a Dragon though. Did we even get over here in Like a Dragon? Can't remember. I'll have to look back on that game. I'll have to look back. Where 410? Inflation gone crazy. Okay, so, police station. Indeed. Camera to police station visitation room. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Doc? Why the long face? Hamura-san. Ah, uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, 
Let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tak. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose. Right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> you think, um, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? Damn it, guess this is just part of the job. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. Tuh. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Alright, so here we go again. Alright, what, what? Hmm. I feel the alibi will be important, so... You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? <sighs> Apparently between 2 and 3 in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Hmm, well, what do we know about the victim? What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill, Kyori Grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Hmm, so what was the argument then? Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. 
So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, a moor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. Mm, a few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. Well, let's go with the police response, though, even though we got everything sorted there. Get I still want as much information as I can get, you know. Who's the detective in charge of the case? Kuroiwa, from Organized Crime. Shintani Sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Kyori murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat's ass about Yakuza. Well, that's all I wanted to ask then. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going then. I'm enjoying this interaction in the dialogue. I really am. Yagami, head over to Sana Go Ten for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. It's just, it's its so much more involved. I, re I really like it. New info has been added to the case file. Okay. So, investigate Sauna Goten. Where is it? Oh, all the way over there. right -o. Hey, it's the usual shop. Let's have a look in here. Let's have a look. Now, people have told me down in the comments as to why there's actually no karaoke, though. It's a shame, but understandable. Alright, anything interesting in here? I actually really prefer the, the interactions here with, um, like, the menus and stuff. They feel... We can buy cat food for our cats. I mean... It's like, you know, there's just, it's a, that's a given. Uh, thank you, thank you. But yeah, it's 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 a shame we don't get the karaoke, but that's fine. There's the penguin. You okay, there, mate? All right. So, costumes here. Some caps. What look like some kind of banana of some sort. Not entirely sure. Let me know if that wasn't a banana and was actually some other fruit. Did she knock over that sign? Got concrete on the bottom. That takes some effort to get that knocked over. Streets are fairly quiet, though. Bling. There's no way it's only two grand. What was up with that old fart? Sauna Goten. This is where Hamura says he was on... Something. Yeah. I, I'm assuming... Can I actually have that reread to me? Nope. Let's speak to you, I guess. Excuse me. You work here? Yeah. Come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. What do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? I see. If this old man had remembered Hamura's face, then he would have had an alibi. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. 
Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? Then as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kinda similar. I was genuinely waiting for him to say it. If I can prove that Hamuro was here on the night of the crime, then that will solve everything. But there supposedly wasn't any promising evidence to point to an alibi. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came round. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Maybe I should try asking some other people around here. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna need some kind of lead with this case, though, aren't we? We really are. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. <laughs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Alright. Hey. You're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sana Goten the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Fine. Who else is around? I'm looking for static people. Anyone moving around, like, they're not going to be involved, really, are they? Is there anyone around there? Nope. Hmm. I mean, it's got the radar here, but... Ah. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sana Goten on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Guess this isn't much of a lead then. Thanks for your help. So much for that, guess I should head home for tonight. It's not far away. Let's head over there. Maybe see if we can feed the kitties. That'd be cute. That'd be cute. Sorry people, sorry people, but I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush. Can I get something from the vending machine? Nope. Nope. I'm just listening to see if I can hear the kitties. Usually hear them meowing. Yo. You're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well... Genda sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyore clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up. Not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. Hmm. 
Rest up at the detective agency. We need some rest. Crash on the sofa. What about the kitties? Can I feed the kitties? I mean, I bought the pet food for a reason. No, can I play the video game? I'm guessing not from the looks of it. You can hear the meowing now. What's strange though, during the, the um... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, look, look at the cup. When the camera gets far away, it goes to basically a 2D model. So right now that, that's a 3D model of that cup on the desk below the lamp. But if I, like there, it switched to 2D. Oh no, it's not 2D, it's just very, very low polygons. It's just, I'm not that far away that it should do that. It's just interesting. Like, whoop. Mm, oh, oh, there we go. Very strange. Anyway, let's rest. Meow. That's a ringtone. What's up, Shintani? Morning, sunshine. I'm on Nakamichi Street. Yeah, and? You know Majori? Little cafe, killer coffee. Come here. Another impromptu meeting? Don't whine. I thought you liked keeping busy. I mean, I do. Especially it involves, you know, earning money. It's always nice, always nice. So head to Cafe Majori. Which is all the way over there. I say all the way over there like it's miles away. It is literally just around the corner. Just around the corner. Look at that bull. Hey, look at it. That's a good bull. That's a good bull. Right. Cafe. Uh, I have no idea. It's in here, somewhere. Ah. First floor. Hey, over here. Take a seat. Right. Anyway, I asked around near Sonic Go 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamura's alibi, though. All right. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from Amor. Hamura and Kume are both in here, clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kume's buddy there is running for his life. Yep, got a name too. Akira Murase, another Kyore thug. Word is he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Curie hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. Did something else happen? What else could the camera have caught? One hour later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? So there's no doubt that Hamura was alone with Kume. Right before he died. What did Hamura say he did with Kume again? 
Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. No need for that, really. I, I, I chill, chill. New info has been added to your case file. Okay. Well, we can head to Club Armour in the next part. Because that's what we'll be doing. So we see I'll see you then. Ta ta. Boxes of um Well the crates really, aren't they? Anyway, we'll we'll see you in the next part. He's not looking at the camera. There we go. Ta ta for now. <laughs>